Hi, it's Jennifer Russell here. How are you doing today? I hope you're filled with joy. You know, joy is my favorite feeling. It means that everything in my heart is in the groove. I am feeling good in my body, in my heart, in my entire being. I'm in my God groove. <laughs> you know, as we are moving higher and higher, we're going to be experiencing more and more joy, more lightness of being. And as we do that, we've got to let go of the old. We've got to let go of the old familiar forms and the ways of being. And it can be a little unnerving, but let me tell you, the more we can just loosen up about where we're going, I think it's going to be easier and a lot more fun. You know, we have been working hard in our work lives, in our spiritual lives, and I am ready to declare, let's, let's have that done with now. It is time for us to start looking forward to where we're going. Where are we going? What are we creating? You know, we are creators. We came here, a spark off divinity itself, Father, Mother, God. Go and create as we do. We are the ones that are creating the er new earth. We are the ones that are cr creating the change, just, just like Gandhi said. Be the, be the change that you want to see in the world. So I want to just talk a little bit about food today, about food and drink, and what are we doing with our own personal lives? Because this is the temple of the living spirit right here, right here, your body. And you deserve to feel the best in your body. You deserve to feel joyful in your body. So you know what? I got to tell you, just looking at my own life, I was raised eating meat and potatoes and all that is cheese. And my comfort foods used to be tuna casseroles, mac and cheese, ice cream. And I got to tell you, I can't eat that anymore. Every time I eat that, I have that wonderful guidance that says, oh, I'm feeling heavy. I don't feel light. I don't feel joyful. I used to drink a glass or two of red wine a day. I liked it. It was nice to go down with the food, soothing. Oh, it's all nice. But you know what? I can't do it anymore. It doesn't give me life. It takes away. Now, I have to tell you, drinking pure water, which is about 70% of my diet, is the most a life-affirming thing that I can do. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel light and joyful. Oh, it is awesome. So I just want to invite you to start taking a little inventory and start noticing. Just pay attention to what you're eating and what you're drinking. Does it make you feel better? Does it make you feel more life affirming? Does it give you joy? Or does it absolutely bring you down? It's a really simple test. Do the things that we're consuming, the things that we're bringing into our household, is it lifting up our planet? Is it something that you want to take into the new earth? Is it going to help this world that works for everyone, even including our animals, or not? Simple question. You know, I'm celebrating being a vegan this year, this fall, three years, three years. And I want to tell you that story because I, I think it's worth telling. It wasn't a, a tough decision that I just had to be really disciplined in and try really hard. It was very natural. And I want to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it in the next video. But until then, I want you to just share with me. What, how are you eating differently today than you did a year ago? How's your life changed in the last year? What are you wanting to create in this new earth? How do you want your food and your drink to be? How do you want to feel in your body? I'd love to hear it. If you're listening to this anywhere except my blog, please go over there, jenniferruthrussell.com. And until next time, don't ever forget you are powerful and you are precious.